Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, I committed several murders, and today, I am down here in Leowind to do, okay, admittedly, more murder, but not immediately, no, 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 I'm gonna space out the murders. Alright, that, that's morally better, because instead, we've got talk of odd noises, odd smells, and the fascinatingly named mission, whom the gods annoy. So, okay, let's go investigate a mysterious smelly house. And if we happen to run into, yes, Rosentia Galenus, that's the owner. Okay, it's this large orange house here, and uh, no back entrances, no secret basements, no hatches in the roof as far as I can see, though. Oh yeah, this place is uh, huge. That is uh, four stories in place, though. Okay, admittedly, Elsewhere in Leowin, we have seen buildings with four stories that don't actually have four stories. Like, that's no guarantee of anything. Okay, she's just a summoner and she summoned a whole bunch of minions. Got it, though admittedly, four of them. Like, literally every summoner, even really good summoners. Like me, I'm a really good summoner. I can only summon one thing at a time. If this woman can teach me the secret to summon more than one thing at a time, basically I could be twice as powerful overnight, so okay, I will do anything to learn this secret, Resentia. Please, help me. Okay, she's admittedly also begging for help, suggesting... Okay, did you mean to summon these monstrosities? These stupid scamps are driving me crazy. Okay, so that would suggest, no, this wasn't intentional. Can I help in any way? Oh, thank you. I had a feeling buying that Daedric staff would be trouble. Now I'm paying for it with more than just some gold. Okay, so... Yes, actually. The staff on her back does appear to have uh, possibly four scamps on it. So I don't know what she expected when she bought the staff of four scamps, but I really feel like you could have predicted this. A few weeks ago, a spell sword was passing through Leowin and heard that I liked to buy curiosities. He wanted to sell the staff you see me carrying. I eagerly bought it, knowing the value of Daedric relics. In fact, I was a bit suspicious when he sold it so cheap. His loss, my gain, I figured. After examining it for a bit, I noticed a small word carved on it in runes. Using a book from my library, I translated it. The word was nonsense. However, when I spoke it and held the staff, four scamps suddenly appeared. I thought I was done for. Strangely, they all just stood there. It didn't take long before I realised they were following me. I couldn't be seen in town with scamps following, so I decided to discard the staff. I can't explain it, but somehow I can't compel myself to actually let it go. This staff is obviously cursed. Now I'm stuck with it. Okay, so I do hate to, you know, go straight to the solution that involves murder, because I am trying to slowly wean myself off doing quite so much murder, but have you tried just killing the scamps? I need you to get over to the Mages Guild and talk to a good friend of mine, Alvis Uvenum. She's the only one in town that I trust. I was able to get a message to her earlier, but I've yet to get a reply. If I go, then the scamps will follow and my secret will be revealed to all. I do enjoy how this woman is currently magically bound to a Daedric artifact that means uh, monstrosities from hell are following her around uh, and her biggest concern is her social standing. That's beautiful. The beastly little creatures are nasty, smelly, noisy and wrecking my beautiful house. I must be rid of them. I can't let people know I have scamps in here. Or they'll think I've taken to Daedra worship. Try explaining that to the town guard. Okay, I thought Daedra worship wasn't actually illegal, just kind of frowned upon, but okay, I'll go get your friend in the Mages Guilds. Oh, and this house is even more of a nonsense. There's only two bloody floors. There's also no room to the armor, um, yes, left of the door, so uh, this entire four-story tower just doesn't exist internally. Brilliant. Right, over to the Mages Guilds. Poor Rosentia. She's been trapped in her house for days. 
Okay, so yes, you very much know what's going on already, don't you? Frankly, the smell gave you away. You must have stepped in... Well, let's just say something that isn't pleasant. Okay, let's start off with, yes, the scamps, and my plan A of murder said scamps. Don't bother trying to kill one of them. As soon as you do, another will take its place. It's endless. Quite the curse, eh? Shea Gorth certainly has a sick sense of humor. Oh, it's his staff, is it? Okay, I'm his champion. Me and him are, well, okay, probably not on first name terms, but he's vaguely conceptually aware of me. That might be useful, potentially. Doing a bit of digging, I'm afraid Rosenti has been stuck with the staff of the Everscan. Nasty bit of fun by Shea Goroth, I'd say. The only way she can be rid of it is if someone willingly accepts it. It can't be discarded in any other manner. No one would buy that thing once it's activated like it's been. The only chance is to return it to its original resting place, Dark Fathom Cave. Inside the cave, there's rumored to be a shrine to Shea Goroth. That's where the staff can finally be dropped, and the scamps should remain behind. I also learned that the staff makes the owner move much slower than normal. I suppose it's another way the creator upped the annoyance factor. Please, bring Rosentia this information at once. And if you can, help her. I think she's about to crack under the pressure, poor thing. Okay, that is extremely disappointing, because I was literally about to suggest, what if I took the staff and then just kept it? I don't really care if the locals think I consult with Daedra. I do, constantly. Like, I would be 100% happy with four extra scamps on top of my usual summons, but if it's going to slow me down, that's unacceptable. Speed is too important to me. Oh, Here's a surprise, by the way. Um, completely not what I was expecting to see, but there's a Blackwood Company building here. Those are the guys who have been, yes, doing illegal work and dubious stuff and murder that have been causing trouble for the Fighters Guild, so... Okay. Am I allowed in while I'm passing by? And if I do pop in... Oh, blimey. This is a fancy building. I like the balcony right there. That's really lovely, actually. Oh, and they've got... Oh, flip me. This guy has got an elf in a helmet. More elf in gear, more... Okay, hang the cock on here. Now, I know I said earlier, I didn't want to do much more murder, but... I mean... In the event that the murder got me an elf in a helmet, those things are pretty bloody rare, actually. And also, they really don't mind me just coming in and cracking open all their display cases. Nobody ever does. Oh, you know what? That is a bonus point for these guys right here. The weapons in their display cases aren't fakes. Almost always, the weapons in display cases are fakes. But no, these ones are real. Okay, best as I can tell, nobody has got elven gauntlets on, hey. but the helmet. Am I willing to kill a man to get a helmet? Because if I kill him and take it off his corpse, that's not stealing. So if I do that and then I get arrested after that point, I get to keep the helmet for whatever the price of uh, the bounty is, which is probably not much at all, because uh, this guy's not important, and uh, I shouldn't feel that bad about this, because well, these guys are, are dicks and do murders and stuff. The trick's gonna be getting this to work before, yes, the guards arrive and arrest me, so... Alright. I think we can make this work. Summon a demon as a distraction over there. And then... Okay, one quick hit against you. The other guys are going to be distracted by all the rest of this. Now go, go, where's his corpse? Where's his corpse? Wait, where's his corpse? Where'd his corpse just go? Go, go, quickly, search, search the corpse. Search the... He can't be killed. Oh, I've made a horrible... Okay, it's time to... Also, the dogs... Oh, I killed their dog. And I can't rob them because they can't be killed. I feel like this is going to cause trouble. Yep, this is going to cause trouble. 
Um, okay. So this is, this is fine. And wait, hang on. Who's, who's being shot? Oh, hang on. They're going for the guards, not for me. The guards are helping me out. The guards bloody hate these guys. Oh, well, this is, this is magnificently good news. Am I allowed to help out? Because yes, I, I'm assisting officer. He's unconscious too. Can I in any way? Okay, so we can't search the corpse. Well met. Also, he was just really polite to me. So that there, that is a very gracious warrior. All right, Rosentia, give me the staff. Let's get this done because I need to see how bad the speed penalty is. Because if it's like, say, minus 10, I might be willing to just accept that permanently to have these scamps with me as my new best friends. Do this for me. And I'll reward you with another one of my curios I picked up a few years ago. A valuable ring. Are you ready? Okay, an actual reward, not just money. Let's flip and do it. Okay, so unlike her, it's not stuck on my back. I can still use uh, all my usual weapons. And my speed is now 100. I think it was 120 before. Well, there they are. They're now following me around. Honestly, this seems... I mean, fine to me. Does anybody else care? Like, is this a crime? Is this a problem? Or could I just live uh, the rest of my life with uh, these scamps following me around? And also, okay, crucially, do they help in combat? Because uh, if I've just got four infinite scamps right now, and uh, this doesn't appear to be a crime in any way, the guards aren't rushing up to arrest me or anything. Okay, here we go. Random wisp out in the middle of uh, nowhere. Got some damage on him. So now, presumably the wisp is, yep, coming this way. And my Daedroth is attempting to fight it. Scamps. Go, Scamps. Go, Scamps. I believe in... Okay, the Scamps don't fight. I feel like, yes, Um, we should just get rid of the Scamps. Because they don't appear to be drawing enemy attention or fighting or anything, actually. Oh, and the cave is literally just over the river. Okay, also, interesting experiment. Can they swim? If I just basically swim over a small body of water, are they capable of following me? Resentia, there were so many solutions to this problem that you just didn't think of. Okay, literally getting on a boat and going to the far side of a body of water, that was good enough. They are completely foxed by this nonsense. Okay, I'm guessing once I'm inside, uh, my friends are going to... Uh, there we go. They've caught up. And also, they're, they're slightly getting in the way. Honestly, I think they're cute. Like, I wouldn't mind keeping them if they were willing to fight. But unfortunately, no. No, they're not. It's the annoying hitting noise that probably decides it. And the loss of speed. Like, losing 20 speed, uh, unacceptable to me. So, okay. Daedric Spikes. Understandable, I suppose. We know we're dealing with a Daedric Prince here. Alright, get the scouting up and about and... Okay. I see a handful of stuff in that direction. Though I don't know what that is on the right. Oh, it's just a handful of demons and possibly one of those lobster creatures. Although, oh, it could be a spider Daedra. The boob spiders. So, okay. Just prepare for trouble and then there we go take you oh it's one of the mini boob spiders oh those guys are please please stop getting in my way please please stop getting in my please don't get in my way while i'm okay i'm going to summon another one to get rid of him please oh bloody hell this is i feel like i'm trapped in a very small tunnel right now this is not helping okay just i think that one's not mine just take him out there we go wait are you are you a friend it's very hard to tell in this type of corridor, but I think he's a friend. I mean, I'm good to be honest. Actually, these guys are being kind of useful in a way. There's a giant boob spider, and she can't get to me for the simple reason that, yes, she can't pathfind past these guys, who she's not willing to attack because otherwise they'd be useful in terms of drawing aggro, meaning... Okay, it's possible... These guys might have a roadblock utilities. Admittedly, for for me too, sometimes. Because sometimes they just... 
Okay, they get in my way too much. This can't be allowed to stand. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I can see how you might be useful under a small number of circumstances, but I'm not willing to just stand here and be consistently annoyed by you being in the way. Right, handful more demons go down, but lads, I mean, it's been fun. In a way, I'm gonna miss ya, but... I can't accept my speed being lowered, okay? I have a, a lot of emotional investment in my own ridiculous speed and acrobatics. So uh, that's just not acceptable to me. Okay, so pop you down. That's now acceptable. The scamps like their new home. They've all stopped following me. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of feel like I'm gonna miss them. I really truly am. Also, I'm gonna just put this on the uh, ultra it's I'm pretty sure I just set myself on fire there. On the altar, properly. If I decide I want this back later, can I just... Okay, I've lost them forever. Oh, that's sad. Okay, the ring she gives me better be bloody worth it. Oh, and I've not even missed the sunshine either. You know what? I've always thought Leowin is not a particularly attractive part of the world. But this, when it's sunny, the like one day of the year it is sunny... It's actually rather nice, and uh, I can deal with that because I'm British, and thus, you know, there being approximately 10 days in the year that are actually pleasant, that's fine. I'm completely okay with that, and uh, okay, you know what? While I'm actually passing by outside, uh, I am going to sort out your local Oblivion gate because I wouldn't mind drawing an extra Oblivion ball. So, uh, you're welcome. Oh, hang on, I just... Right! I just ran into the guy I think I'm supposed to be killing! Hang about, hang about, hang about. It is 3pm. Uh, we are outside the city. Oh yeah, that's the guy. Adamus Felida. So, by any chance, buddy, are you having an affair with your bodyguard uh, that you sneak out to your sex shack for? Because, uh, can't but notice that you just sort of, uh, yeah, snuck out here at... Three in the afternoon for no well-explained reason. Or this is just your house, but no. Coast Guard Station. Okay, I feel like potentially we might be on something here. I think you are having an affair. And the bow chicka bow wow happens here in the Coast Guard Station. Let's see if we can find any evidence like letters to support said theory. Aha! Shoes, which you would take off next to a bed if you were having a steamy affair with your own bodyguard. The case is closed. Still, we'll get back to him later. But yes, I suspect we might be able to find him rather conveniently naked right here in the Coast Guard shack at approximately 3pm. So, alright buddy, just a sneak over here. If we get lucky, this will be a nice in-out sprinty one. Not one of the really annoying long-winded ones. Okay, do I know where I am right now? Hang about, hang about, hang about. This is... Oh, it's the stupid long-winded one. And I had that one only bloody ten minutes ago, too. Ah, but then again, a hang about. All I need to do really in this domain is, uh, yes, get out of uh, this level and down to uh, the next one. But I bet I can use my acrobatics for that. Yeah, get to the level below. Uh, that should get me to uh, a door that actually gives me Grand Soul Gem. I won't say no, that's very convenient. Just get to the level below uh, and yeah, that should be access to the interior of the tower, not bothering with any of the rest of this stuff. Okay, this might be a bit fiddly, but if I can just pull it off, straight to here, rending halls. That's it, that's all you need to do in this one. Okay, that makes life much easier, actually. Just get over to here, get that door moving in the right direction. Just drink from the blood fountain. No problem drinking from the blood fountain. And there we go. Okay, so this one is, in fact, very, very easy if you just jump down from the first level. Gotcha. And with that, straight up to the top. Collapse your reality better and flip it better, though. 
No punished on this occasion. That's a bit of a shame. And grab and heal and run and move and job is flipping done. Beautiful. Another town with no oblivion gate next to it. If we ignored that one, because some towns just have like two for some reason. Alright, I want one ring and it better be a bloody good one. As promised, here's the ring. I bought it from a shop in the Imperial City many years ago for an ex-lover of mine. He ran off with someone else, so now the ring belongs to you. The owner of the shop called it the Ring of Eidolon's Edge. I think you'll like it. Oh, that sounds like blade boosting to me. Farewell, and may you find your way home safely each night to a warm fire. Okay, that is a nice way to say goodbye, though. Yeah, I thought so. Block and blade, though. 11 points times 2, which means that is actually pretty bloody good. I will keep that just for, yes, block fortification, should that ever become something I desperately need to be better in a hurry. Also, why do I forget to look at the bloody stones every time? John, look at the stone. So that is... That's a new one. So either burden on a weapon or feather on armour. You know what? That's actually pretty bloody useful. Because, uh, yeah, if I end up being, like, over capacity, if I put that on a, a ring, that just means I can slip on the ring to get a whole bunch more stuff back to base. So, I have no good ring I can enchant. But okay, next time I'm back in Anvil, remember to pop that on a ring. Because that's actually pretty useful. And next up, back to the murder. Okay, my murder holiday is done. We're getting straight back to it. So, Adamus. We need to figure out what's going on with him. And yeah, they say he lives with the City Watch barracks, but... I know he doesn't, by sheer bloody coincidence, I ran into him just after a steamy rendezvous in the Coast Guard shack. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Okay, um, I'm going to be honest, I was just going to ask this guy about his new bunkmate, but apparently I committed a crime. At some point, okay, you did attempt to murder the guys inside the, um, the Blackwood Company building. Okay, it's a fair cop. I'll come peacefully. Okay, can I now go and find the exact same guy and instead now become best friends with him? Excuse me, I'm on duty. Yeah, that's the same guy who just arrested me. Though, unfortunately, no. Nothing about their new guest. Okay, step one. There is a tower just outside the castle. Is this the... That's the barracks, but at night, I am not allowed in there. Although apparently he's- oh. You have my ear, citizen. It's 8pm, and he enjoys just having a bath in the pond. So, okay, this guy just can't wait to strip naked. Okay, bare minimum. Adamus's bodyguard and also secret lover. Let's just, you know, get friendly with him, damn it. Okay, he's maxed out at 84. Let's talk about your secret boyfriend. The old man. <laughs> he's easy to protect. Every day's the same. He visits the Coast Guard station, goes for a swim, never puts himself in harm's way. You've literally just described two scenarios where he takes off his armor. And I guess there's no reason not to chat to the lad himself. Do we know each other? There's something familiar about you, but I just can't place it. Okay, have we met before? Because I don't know whether we have or not. Also, please don't say anything about harvesting his soul. Yes, well, I'm a very busy man, enjoying my retirement, don't you know? So why don't you just go away? Okay, so if we want to do this properly, two opportunities. 8pm at night, we've got, uh, yes, the swimming right here. But that's in the city. There are many witnesses, uh, many guards, uh, various problems. and Good Okay, scene. just the court mage, no problem. Was slightly concerned by person in sinister robe. Yes, I think the best option's got to be the Coast Guard shack. Somewhere around uh, early afternoonish. So, uh, okay, let's head out there. 
and see what we can do. Okay, let's move time on to about, yeah, half eleven in the morning. I don't know when he goes to the Coast Guard shack, but he's got to be there for some time to provide an opening for me. So, you see, he's already there. Okay, prepare the rows right here. One, okay, really fancy mega arrow. Appreciate how, yes, it's much more fancy and big than the others. Right, cowl on, because yes, Detect Life will actually be very useful here. Crack this to open. It appears he's already inside. Okay. That's, that's fine. He comes and visits this place, but he appears to still be in armor. Okay. Why is he out here? What does he want? Okay, seems like whatever's going on out in the Coast Guard, possibly just, you know, responsible Coast Guard business... It doesn't involve him stripping naked, or at least I can't see how it does. So, in which case, that means the best bet, in fact, would be try and find a good spot to get the arrow on him without him realizing or anybody else being able to uh, hunt me down afterwards. So, right, use acrobatics to locate a good sniper spots. Up on the walls strikes me as okay. I mean, it's a good spot in terms of uh, getting the shot off. The problem is uh, it's going to be patrolled by guards. So what I need instead is, uh, yes, getting up on that house there. That's going to be the one. Right, put away everything. Activate boots and all the things. Uh, just get on top of the roof. Can I actually jump from the Odia? Oh this may officially be a slope and thus not jumpable, which would certainly be a bit of a fly in the ointment. No! If you get it just in the middle, you're fine. Activate that jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. This roof is really bloody steep, mind. Ah, the problem being a tree that obscures the shots. Okay, I think the best bet I've got is, yeah, this shack over here just... Straight up, yeah. Do the shot, and then make a run for the gate over on that side, out into the open countryside. And I think he's in the water right now, which I wasn't actually expecting, but okay. Hang about, just, just get the... That should be about right. Oh, wait for him to hold still. He's having a lovely swim, and... Is, is that his head? I think that might be his head. Uh, just, just hold still. He's, he's very good at holding his breath. Apparently, just, just, just wait for one second, buddy. Just wait for one second. Okay, hang on. That, that got him. He's dead. Oh, I was supposed to take the ring from his finger. No, I'm supposed to take the actual finger. Okay, do you guys? Okay, just, 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 just maybe, maybe drop down. Actually, out the way. I think his bodyguard and lover hasn't realised anything's gone wrong yet. Because he's he's under the water and... Okay, please don't... No! No, no, no! You see nothing! He's just... Okay, he got over his lover's death really fast! Also, I'm having the arrow back because why not? And I may as well just have every single bloody key going. Brilliant! I'm gonna be honest, I got away with that way more easily than I was expecting. I thought I'd be running out here at full speed with guards in a hot pursuit. Still, we're not done yet, and we are... Yes, indeed. It's back at the Imperial Prison, which also seems to be, like, the Imperial Guard Center for the entire city. In fact, I swear I've broken into this exact office before, but apparently that's fine. It's not a crime to sneak into the police headquarters, in the middle of the night. You then we've also got... Okay, you must be the new lads. And okay. Hang about, hang about, hang about. Am I supposed to be... I think it's this chest, right? No, not chest. Desk. So, okay, just stand slightly behind him. And we might just actually manage to get away with this. Which is ridiculous, but okay. Right. In it goes. 
and he suspects nothing. He will have no idea who might have done this. Oh, and while I'm passing by, won't say no to 500 gold either. And that is why you don't date your own bodyguard. Alright, mixing pleasure and the guy who keeps you alive, it's just a recipe for trouble. Okay, Achiever, job done, and once again, a bonus objective, so more unique items if you'd be so kind. Adamas Philida is dead. I could feel my heart swell with the Night Mother's love the moment that Imperial Pig issued his last breath. You have done a great service to the Dark Brotherhood today, Assassin. Your reward is well earned. You also managed to leave Philida's severed finger as a warning to his successor. Well done. Your bonus, 500 additional gold coins, is well earned. Go now, get some rest. Sithis knows you've earned it. When you're ready for another contract, you need only ask. Okay, I'm going to be honest, just extra money is... Very underwhelming, next to everything else I've been given so far. That is a very trash tier bonus. Ah, Assassin, I must speak with you. It is quite urgent. A sealed letter just arrived from a Dark Brotherhood courier. I recognize this type of parcel. It contains sealed orders. It's addressed to you from Lucien Lachance. You must open these sealed orders immediately and follow their instructions to the letter. It would seem the Black Hand itself has a task for you. Hang on, what's... What's the Black Hand? I thought we had a Night Mother who gave instructions through a listener. No one mentioned a Black Hand before. What's the Black Hand? Okay, no one's willing to talk to me anymore, so let's just lock myself up in here. Presumably this is... Yes, a rather private bit of business, so let's just be in here alone. Here we go, orders from Lucien Lachance. Come to my private refuge in the ruins of Fort Farragut, located in the forest northeast of the Chaden Hall Sanctuary. When you arrive, we'll discuss the nature of your special assignment. I cannot stress to you enough the importance of your swift arrival, so... Okay, this sounds like the game is trying to tell me, actually, for once, there is a time limit. Do this right now. So, I will do that. That is fine. And I'm not to tell anybody. Okay, not Achiever, nobody else. Don't mention the location, anything at all. And, uh, oh dear. There might also be some monsters inside his fort. Just the defense. So, we've got to get past them too. Oh, it is literally only just outside of town. I kind of assumed he'd have, like, you know, a doom castle up in the mountains or something. But no, he just, you know, lives slightly outside town, likes living in the suburbs. You know, just a bit of peace and quiet. Nice break from the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle of Chayton Hall. All right, so this will be Farragut right here. Just need to figure out the right way in. Can just hop up top, that's nice and easy, but no secrets up there. Looks like we are, yep, just going straight on inside. Okay, activate scouting magic. How bad are we talking here? Honestly, not so bad, really. Let me see three odd skeletons dotted about. And yeah, the local map will show me how big this area is. Oh, this is really not so bad at all. You know what? Activate sneak mode. Uh, we should be able to just get past these guys. Uh, no trouble at all. Alright, I'm a master thief. As well as everything else. So just crack open this. There we go. My other guild experience proving very useful. Just pop that closed too. Be beautiful. Oh yeah. Now this. This will do. I say that I can't go directly to him. I've got to sneak through some side passages first. So, okay, I see a skeleton over there. We're going to need to take him out. That's fair enough, I suppose. Oh, hang on. I've still got the rose. Oh, my. I've got a one-hit kill arrow against anybody wearing no armor. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Okay, past him. And now we have got ourselves. Okay. I see you, buddy. Just check what that's about, uh trigger. 
Just a small rock fall and nothing too dramatic. I see you round the corner too, buddy. Is that where I need to go? Looks like it. Yeah, so okay. It's a handful of Dark Guardian skeleton sorts. But honestly, one on one, I am kicking their asses at the moment. Yeah, my little Daedroth, he can just actually take these guys out without too much of a problem. Even without me getting involved. Still, I will say one nice thing about these uh, Dark Guardians, which is one, they don't actually have that much health. But on the plus side, they're flipping Grand Soul. I love it. Okay, coming round the corner, we've definitely bypassed some skeletons. A uh, bit more scouting. Summing up ahead, but also, small hole. Don't fall into that. Keep on keeping on. Oh yeah, we've definitely just uh, bypassed some trouble. So in which case, skip whatever that is down there. And now just deal with, uh, by the looksy of it, you. Though by any chance... Okay, hang on. How much of a badass can we be right now? Because I would really, really like to just walk straight past this skeleton without it even seeing me. But to do that, it's good to, to face off to the side, unfortunately. Okay, sneak 100. Let's see if we can make it happen. Just maybe if we are... He can't even see us. I can walk straight past enemies and... Did you just die? I think he... Oh! I think he may have just walked straight into a trap there. Good job, buddy! Okay, evil defeated. This most definitely looks like the place. Let's just, uh, yes, seal us in to make sure we are nice and secure. So, okay, buddy. What have you got for me? Why are you summoning me? All by myself, because I can't deny I'm feeling pretty good about that, actually. I feel like I'm suddenly a bit of a big deal. I have been waiting for you, assassin. We have not spoken in some time, but I am well aware of your accomplishments within the Dark Brotherhood. That is why I have sent for you. I'm afraid there is a situation... The time has come to test both your skill and your loyalty to Sithis. The Black Hand has learned that the Dark Brotherhood has been infiltrated. By whom and for what purpose we do not yet know. What we do know is that there is some link between the traitor and the Chaden Hall Sanctuary. The traitor has tainted that place beyond repair. It was learned that the traitor has been active for quite some time, since before you joined the Brotherhood. That absolves you of any suspicion. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. Um, I've got like zero loyalty to Sithis. Not a hundred percent sure who Sithis actually is. Like, is he a Daedric Prince? Because I do business with a lot of those. Everyone is... Very vague on the topic, so... Okay, you know what? This sounds like a fun whodunit type thing. Last time you told me to do one of those, it was hilarious, so I am 100% on board. And that, dear child, is why the Black Hand has chosen you to perform the ancient rite known as purification. Everyone inside the sanctuary must die. You must break one of the tenets you have sworn to uphold. I know this is an unexpected turn of events, but drastic measures must be taken. Ochiva, Vicente Valtieri, Antoinette Marie, Gogran Grobalmag, Talendril, Mirage Dar, and Tainava. All these family members must die. From this point forward, you are no longer bound by the five tenets. Sithis will forgive any murder, any theft, so long as you serve the Black Hand. When the rite of purification has been completed, return to me here at Fort Farragut, and we will discuss your future. Now, take these special gifts. They will help you greatly. One is a poisoned apple. The other, 
a unique scroll of summoning. Good luck, Silencer. Okay, so on the one hand, I don't trust this guy because he literally sounds like Emperor Palpatine. But on the other hand, I don't actually care because he's basically freeing me from all rules and saying I could do as much murder as I want. And that is kind of what I wanted anyway. So, okay, let's go. You, of course, recall Rufio, the feeble old man I sent you to kill when we first met. He was weak in life, but his spirit is quite angry in death. The scroll will allow you to call upon Rufio's angry ghost for assistance. He will appear, unleash his anger upon your foes, and then disperse. Okay, but I feel like some of that anger might be directed at me, given... I was the guy that killed him. Is is that a concern? Should I be worried about this? Okay, bare minimum, we've also got a Skyrim ladder right here. So, okay, new secret trap door located. Okay, really should have seen that earlier. That was really not far away at all from where we started. So, okay. Next time, apparently, it's... Ah! It's murder time, assuming I can avoid breaking my own legs, which I do a lot because I'm so fast I can't deal with slopes anymore. Yes, indeed. Next time, it's time to start thinking about how we're going to make this happen. Now, I've already seen, say, a note from the vampire lad saying if we just mix some garlic into his food, he becomes weak as a kitten. There may well be other opportunities to take some people out without it being that bloody suspicious. But before we do that, we might just want to double check there's nothing else we want to do with any of these individuals first. After all, don't forget, Vicente did promise to turn me into a vampire. Alright, no need to go down into scruffy caves, get myself infected, all the rest of it. No, we can do it all stylish-like and... I think it might be time to give that a go. I don't know how good vampires are in this game. I don't know how we get rid of vampirism when I decide I'm done with it. But, I mean, we've got to give it a go. Before we kill the stylish vampire, my best friend who wants to make me a vampire, I think we've got to, at the bare minimum, give it a go. So, join me next time for the beginning of my vampiric journey and the end of my friendship with the vampire who made me into a vampire. Because after he's turned me, I'm not convinced he's surviving the day. So, hopefully you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.